And welcome everyone to a nice Napoleon Total War 3 3v3 replay. Today's replay comes from the Nate Devourer. And on the um, attackers team we've got the Nate Devourer, Conan, what W21C, and Philippi, not Philippe. On the defender's side we have Fella Jilin, Sim Player, and Bullet. Well, I haven't seen in a little while, but I've seen Bullet a couple of times in my history of looking at this game. Anyway, we'll start with the blue team of course, and we have, um, I think, one United Kingdom, 1850, and maybe two Rossia armies. So we've got some Hussars there, General there, Carl von Alten, some Dragoons, King German Legion, Light Company, a lot of Light Infantry. We've got a, a team of um, nine pounders, also have a, another artillery unit of um, four 12 pounders actually. More Hussars. Okay, this is the Rossier armies that we talked about. He's got, um, oh, sorry, it was Rossier with the 12 pandas, not England. Well, yeah, there's a general there. I was, I'm trying to say it. Alec Cassander, or something like that. Okay, C8 Cavs, C8s, C1s. Okay, so we've got the elite of the elite here. Guys are pretty good at breaking up infantry lines. Okay, we've got more artillery. It's another 12 pounder, so Blue Team's bought some substantial firepower with them. Look at the extent of the Blue Team's forces. Okay, this player's moving away from the rest of his army, so all three players have sort of really spread themselves out over this map. We got some enemies in the distance. We have some Wattenberg. I haven't seen this faction before in a replay. That's interesting. These guys, of course, many times. France. So I see one Wattenberg, one France. And those Russia forces are a militia unit. It was deployed way outside here. Anyway, we'll come back once the combat starts. See you soon. Alright guys, we're at our first engagement. This, this isn't too smart. Francis has got reinforcements nearby. Okay, yep. Yeah, he pulled back. But he was. I think the players were prepared to send in the cave. Even the Brits have got a cab unit here. And the France are staging a lot of cab forces here. I'm not sure what their plan is. If they chose to strike right now, they probably win. We have one couple units of skirmishes now up here. But that's a bit. Oh, yeah, the army's close by. I don't know. If they attack now, I think these forces here are, are at risk. France seems content to bide his time. We've got a C7 unit going after, I think, artillery. Let's have a look. Yep. 
well, they are protected, so I wasn't sure what he was planning to do there just yet. Okay, I can see Rossi coming up. Alright, so we have all the forces building here, so we'll do another small cut and come back soon. Okay, I got the artillery fire. Got the general there. Oh, what we got here? Here we go. We've got Wattenberg forces moving in. Ross is keen to get out of there. The cap should get away, they're faster. Alright guys. So this position right now is being shelled by both the Brits and Rossia. We've got uh, a team of four six-pounders returning fire. We've got some cavalry there on the right of the map. Facing up against the British cavalry. Here we go. The United Kingdom charged in with some skirmishes. Oh yeah. Things are definitely heating up on the battlefield now. Ooh, you see that? See the cannonballs. That was like a barrage. All right, so we've got two teams of six pounders, six artillery pieces here, nine out, maybe four artillery pieces there. So ten artillery pieces here. Tell you what. I think the Brits are <laughs> outmatched here I'll just a little bit. Two to one. Oh, these guys, those dragoons copped it big time. They're trying to take you out the artillery piece. Men are running, sir. Yeah. Oh, Rossi captured and caught out. It seems like the red teams allowed themselves to be overlapped here, surrounded almost. I'm just wondering, where's that 12 pounder from Russia being aimed at? Alright, so we got both the 12 pounder teams. That's eight 12 pounder cannons. They're all pointed this way. Really going after the general? Yeah, it's possible. This artillery crew has lost about ten men. And what Wattenberg's artillery is up to. It is impressive that the English are not suffering too many casualties despite this relentless bombardment from the Red Team. Like 29 
have 30, 20, 20, haven't lost any men there. Full unit, oh, only lost three men there. Lost nine men. Despite the awesome firepower they're bringing to bear, England is surviving. And relatively unscathed. You can see the 12 pounders shooting across there. They're trying to drop back the French artillery as well. Here we go. Oh! How do they miss? Looking at the map, we're seeing no new combat in the area at the moment. Right now, this is where the action is. Artillery fights are usually not this exciting. Russia's going in for another charge. But, Wattenberg headed him off. And that broke the cav. While that didn't do too much, it did actually shut down this artillery crew for just a little bit. Alright, Russia was moving in for an overlapping maneuver, but France has arrived and really trucking him back. We've got Russia scrambling to form up his lines. He's in a hurry. France has got to be careful here himself, he doesn't get outflanked. We've got some six pounders here. These guys could break. Taking a few casualties there. Wow, what a brave unit. Probably a good idea. <laughs> I'm not sure if he could have done too much. We've got a cab coming in here, we've got a cab coming in here. Oh, they did succeed in breaking up that infantry unit, though. Alright, let's get a bird's eye view on this. Okay, Rossi is still scrambling to form up their lines. And that opening salvo... Ross here to get some kills. We've got a lot of cav here. Okay, Ross, Ross is moving up his forces, or their forces, I should say. Okay, what is the artillery positions up here? What are they shooting at? Okay, so this player's moving up his infantry. This player is a little bit too far, and that ridge is going to cause all kinds of problems. He's got to move his, his artillery closer, I think, if he wants it to be effective. But, Wattenberg and France are going at it against the two Rossier armies.
Okay, we've got some cab movements here. It's Rossi to the rescue. Nice charge there. And in the confusion, Rossi's moving up his forces to get in closer. Oh, they broke that unit. C5, this guy, these guys will have a much better chance. And uh, I think more cab is needed. Reinforcements are nearby, but they're not close enough. We've got one unit forming square here. That'll help. Yeah, you know, the form square. Okay, some form square now. Alright, we've got the elite ca cav here. I'm getting the close up, damn it. Just briefly. I'm looking at the map the whole time. I'm seeing some potential engagements. Jeez, it's tight. Okay, it's, it's definitely swung Rossi's favour there. Oh! Wattenberg is trying to tip the balance. It doesn't seem like it's enough. I think Rossi has won this big calf fight. And now that we're drawing, that's a lot of horses. My god. Uh, Rossi was going for a bayonet charge, but the French cab are in the way. Oh no, these guys broke. They're alright. These guys, are, I think, are being shot at in the back. Got to reorganise your lines there. And again, Rossi is really trying to disrupt the lines here, and it's working. Wannenberg's retreating, but France are getting their forces away too. General's a little bit too close for comfort. What's going on over here? Oh, we really got into the thick of things there. So this is where the main British army is, it would seem. We have some light dragoons moving around the flank. Better do something. The general's here as well. We can take out the general. I don't know what's going on there yet. We're looking at the forces. The Brits do have the larger army. And haven't taken as many casualties. You'd think Wattenberg would turn their artillery around and fire on the Rossier forces that are nicely lined up for him. All, all the ducks here are lined up in a row. Surely this would be the better target for Wattenberg to go for after. Okay, this artillery is broken, that's why they're not doing anything. But, yeah, I really think it's time to turn that artillery around. Alright, we've got some cab moving in. Okay, Rossi has formed square. Okay, Wattenberg broke that unit. He's bought himself some time. Not bad. Okay, they're forming square. Okay, that unit's now broken as well. Uh, 
Oh, they broke. One of those, one of those lost his artillery. They're winning this fight, Wattenberg is, but reinforcements are moving in now. And the red team's in full retreat. They're possibly trying to regroup with France over there. Russia might try to cut them off. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, looking at the state of things here, the artillery here is in a much better position. And Russia's camping in that house there. We've got two other units here to protect the house. Again, plenty of cav. Things seem to be settling down over here. And we've got France withdrawing now, so he's falling back to his allies as well. Whereas these guys were staying, was <laughs> left behind as a, as a suicide unit to try and delay the enemy. Poor souls never stood a chance. Alright guys, we're doing a small cut and come back when the next engagement begins. So guys, we're back because England just charged into the French retreating forces and actually broke a unit. Broke two now. Now it's turning into a real turkey shoot. I don't know, some of them caught up with them. Oh! Straight in the face! Jeez! I don't know if the British will fire again. The cavalry could get in and wipe out these forces. Singles. All right, this is a bit crazy. Yes, All right, I'm not sure what the um, England player is thinking here, because he was charging up, and then when France started approaching him, he fell back, and he's not establishing any battle lines yet to turn around and face him. And I don't know why. He's got the forces here to stand up to France. So I'm not sure why he doesn't just, you know, take him on. The other France and Wattenberg forces have continued to fall back. I'm not sure why or where. Alright guys, we've got a little battle here for the house. It's 121 men. Ross could really take the house. This unit better stop firing. Oh, 
We've got more units heading over here, but they should just try and take the house. Slaughtered. These guys have only taken one casualties in inside so far. Oh, they're taking some casualties now, though. Popping it now, they're being pelted. Let's take a quick, quick look from inside this house. Okay, looks like he's withdrawn one unit. I'll need one unit broke. It would seem so. Oh, that's crazy, that's insane there. Alright, the battle here is finally heating up. England's got to push these forces up here. I mean, he's doing the rest of his allies. There's a big gap here. Well, I, I don't know. What, I don't know what, I'm not sure what the King German Legion's up to. I think they got shot there by their own men. Alright, looks like we've got something else happening over here now. This is good to see. But I'm not seeing Wattenberg at all. Maybe the other Rossio player is trying to track, track him down, I'm not sure. 17 minutes left, apparently. The Elite Cav there hovering in the distance. The easiest way to win this battle is probably just to move the army forward, engage the French forces, keep the pressure on, charging the cab from the side, or take out the flank. These guys could ruin that plan, of course, these three units here, which is why more reinforcements are needed to deal with them. Ooh. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake. This Rossier player was very careless and his general just got skewered. It could be devastating for the blue team. Losing your general is a big blow. Uh, Rossier is up against it here. Gaps here in the lines, I'm not sure why England's not plugging them. France here is obviously under a lot of fire, his morale is weakened. Okay, so we've got uh, two, two six-pounders here.
Oh, the C1 cab has been broken. What are you trying to do? There was obviously a big cadet engagement here. A lot of them died. I mean, a lot. Jeez. 47, they might come back. Let's wait and see. But uh, France is being pushed here, and England's moving forward. Again, these three forces here. I'm not sure why these guys are not advancing. They should be advancing. Keep the pressure up. We have three French units there hidden in the trees. Okay, the cab's being sent forward. I'm not sure what role it'll play, but we'll find out. Obviously the <laughs> United Kingdom players not sure what role they're gonna play either. But things are definitely getting more intense now. Players are getting closer to each other. Okay, cabs moving in. Yes, Okay, these five England units have French cornered. They keep pressing forward, but pushing into the water. They obviously can't fall in, but it leaves them very little room to manoeuvre. Okay, you now I can better form square or this is going to be, or this is going to hurt. Okay, it's forming square. Two units are forming square. Dragoon's moving in. And they broke the cap. It's a big loss there for France. 11 minutes remaining. Okay, the Rebunes just broke a unit that was trying to outflank the British forces. Okay, they, they broke that unit there. Twelve pounds has been moved up. If they unnumbered now and been fighting to the French forces in the distance here, that could work. England's determined to destroy the French. They're breaking, they broke two more units there. France is down to three units left now. Yeah? And now we've got the other Dragoon unit trying to close off France, the France retreat. The French retreat, sorry. This could be the end of the French forces here. One unit remaining, it's barely hanging on by a thread. Okay, there you go, it just broke. I'm 
And that's clever. Maybe by positioning the Dragoon unit there, it forces the French to just immediately get out of the leave the battlefield. Because they can't retreat. They see no way out. Just like that, England successfully removed the French player from the battlefield here. Nine minutes remaining. Now, Bottenberg's got to arrive to cover this French player's flank, or the remaining French player's flank, because now they're really exposed here to the United Kingdom. Okay, so we have another C1 cab unit from the other Rossier player. Okay, looks like these French Dragoons are thinking about a charge. I can see Wannenberg's general in the distance there, but I don't see his army. Okay, right now we just have the Rossi Cav shadowing the French Cav. Okay, uh, I think he's trying to lure Rossier into a trap to surround him on all sides and destroy his unit. Given that they're really elite, they could survive it, but um, C2 and C6. So the, uh, that could actually work in the French's favour. I think it's a winning combination. But he better turn around. Yeah, he is turning around. Russia forming. Oh, no, they're not forming square. Ah, France is making a big play here. And they broke his best unit. And now Russia's scrambling to save what's left of his lines. I think it'll be okay. This was a good move by the French. Unfortunately, it didn't work out the way he wanted it to. But there were some glimpses of hope there. Now France is reforming his lines. We've got some C1 cap here from Wurttemberg. Now England has arrived. French forces are collapsing. Where's he going? Oh, he's charging the French from the rear. You better be careful, the French forces don't come back. Oh no, mercy here for the French. They're all gone. Our men are running, sir. Oh, one of those cows really outmatched you. Could win this fight, this cat fight here. Yeah, he did. He did well done to him. Yes, 
We've got the French general here too. Now Ross is trying to untangle himself from the French force. Take out the French general with a lucky shot. Three minutes, fifty three seconds remaining. Yeah, without CAV support, that run down the, that one bird general in the distance there. I don't see how the players are going to get a victory. Maybe their attempts is trying to get for a draw. Well, the booking has captured houses. The French is being overwhelmed at this point. Broken. Now he's got to take out that French general. He wasn't moving around. I don't think he cares anymore. <laughs> Two minutes remaining, guys. All right, we have 25 seconds left, and Wardenberg, to his credit, has sallied out for one last hurrah. Unfortunately, 17 seconds left. I don't know if we get a, I don't know if we get a resolution to this conflict in that time. Eight seconds. That's it. And that is it. So, well done to the Nate Devourer, Conan, and Philippe, or Philippe, Philippe, sorry. Oh God, I'm trying to say it. Philippe, that's what I'm trying to say. Philippe, I don't know why I couldn't say that. On the, I think they won that one easy. They were just uh, mopping up the last of the enemy forces. Um, to their credit, well done to Felaginan, Sim Player, and the Bullet. It was a tough battle. Um, Nate Devaro did very well on 1534 kills, Conan 977, Philippe, Philippe, damn it, 1014 kills, Philly Dillon got 467, Sim Player 726, and The Bullet on 738. Looking at the kills, his Dragoons did pretty well, 122 there, 15th Hussars 182, um, 18th Hussars 119. Uh, second foot guards, 139, not bad. Um, 51st light foot, 254, so nice work there. Um, 44th foot, 104 kills. And King German Legion, second light foot, 239, so nice kills there from those units. Thank you to the Nate Devourer for posting the replay on the Discord. This is Scouser Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys next time. Bye.